Our first mystery, who killed DeMarco, has been causing a simmer of disquiet on the seas ever since a certain skeleton wearing a certain hat washed up on Sea Dog's rest a few months ago. But through the handy sleuthing of sailors on and off the waves, things are approaching a boil. So for those of you who sit on the periphery of piratical puzzle solving, we'll dispense with the water-based analogies and take you for a brisk jaunt through everything that's led up to the first big mystery twist as quickly as we can get through it. The mystery started, as stated, with a skeleton popping up on Sea Dog's rest, where before long, a music box drew the interest of pirates aplenty. It soon began to play, leading to the discovery of the fallen Sea Dog's lantern in the waters nearby. This lantern's rouge light was able to uncover hidden messages and notes. More music started, more notes appeared, and then even more music started and even more notes appeared, and Lissedi continued to drink. Turns out these messages detailed an argument between Lissedi and DeMarco, with the final word being a name trimmed to just one letter, T. Interrogating T-named characters led to the discovery of secret meetings with the fallen filibuster, yet none of these characters appeared to be the T that we needed. But as luck would have it, a mysterious chest washed ashore, providing the vital clues necessary to identifying our T-titled tipster. After reassembling a decoder ring and solving a stack of secrets, of course. Finally, with DeMarco's chest, we had a name. Burning Tony was our mark. But unfortunately, he wouldn't just talk to anyone. A special outfit was required. This puzzled pirates for a while, leading to the discovery of a letter grid in the chest's secret compartment ahead of schedule. After some pointers, some savvy sleuths did eventually decode the required attire, and before long, Tony unearthed DeMarco's old ship's log, which he'd burnt. Helpful. Fortunately, some burnt fragments did wash up on the shores of the Sea of Thieves, and when used alongside the word grid, led pirates to the wreck of the Howling Wolf, the ship that DeMarco had been sailing on that fateful night. Within this shipwreck, worrying tales were found detailing unrest, unease, and mutiny. These clues, along with the help of the fallen Sea Dog Lantern, led to a vision of the Pirate Lord himself conversing with three individuals, as well as marks all around his own quarters, declaring his guilt. Before long, a peculiar mechanism appeared in the Pirate Lord's quarters, with a note pinned behind. This note declared that the three mutineers had met an untimely demise, closing off that as a route of investigation. However, with severe implications against Ramsay himself now in play, a mysterious member of the Order of Souls set about assisting pirate investigators in extracting the memories of these supposed rebels after their remains were discovered. With memories extracted from two mutineers, it felt like the Pirate Lord's true nature would soon be revealed. And as the memory was pulled from the third skull and we prepared for the worst, the illusion was shattered. Upon locating what was believed to have been the skull of the third mutineer, instead of a memory revealing the Pirate Lord's grand plan, players were instead greeted by Lissedi, who had left a message with a reluctant, bony accomplice. Music boxes across the seas shattered. The fallen Sea Dog Lantern fell silent. Its aura of deceit dissipated. As Lissedi moves to confront the true killer and learn the fate of her brother, she's left a trail of clues for other pirates to follow to ensure that DeMarco is avenged one way or another. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you just saw and want to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news, then hit subscribe and click that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers.